in uh, 2012, I um, was part of a seminar on gender equality in the film sector. I had never heard anything about this before. And uh, I, when I heard about the imbalance between men and women in the film industry in the Nordic countries, I wonder whether we had the same problem in Erimaj. So when I came back home to Strasbourg, I started counting uh, in the project that we supported how many women directors and how many men directors we had supported in the past. And I realized that we also had a problem. And until I was part in this seminar, I didn't realize there was a serious problem in Erimaj as well. Now, that was 2012, I think. Ever since, we have decided to have a strategy to make sure that women have the same opportunities as men when they come to Image for funding. And we have developed a certain number of uh, measures that should help and uh, readdress this uh, situation and make sure that hopefully by 2020, we'll have a 50-50 proportion of men and women in Image funding. We are far from that target because today we are at 33% and we only have one year left to address the, uh, the problem. But uh, I think the most important part of this whole, of this discourse is to start talking about it and do something about it. And uh, this event tonight is a part of the strategy. It is talking about this with the professionals in each, in each country where we have a, a board of management meeting and the board meetings rotate regularly in different countries every year. And uh, making uh, professionals aware about the problem is already a good way to start resolving it. We have also um, adopted a certain number of measures uh, like uh, financing scholarship for female directors in uh, residences for artists. They should hopefully give the courage to female director to engage this profession and uh, have the courage to make the first, second, third films and have funding for it, maybe also in area marriage. For the time being, it's only for female directors, but you are right, the imbalance um, is also for other professions. The um, uh, film director is probably the most visible one and that's where we started with this. But um, as you rightly say, there are not many DOPs uh, and also um, uh, in the more technical aspects of the profession, there are even less uh, women. Um, I think uh, this, this battle has just started. And, uh, and as I said before, the film directors are the more visible and they will bring the debate in every single profession of, uh, of the filmmaking.